think that sounds like a great plan. Look at the size of that biggie. <laughs> it is a biggie, isn't it? It may be further away than we think. Because no, it's not very far. It was just right beyond you. Theoretically, huh? Yeah. I got everything else around here a couple of weeks later. Okay. We let's see. You got the. I got the shovel. The, the rake's the best choice. And I got some bags. Hey, you, some, you got enough bags? I'll leave mine here. Well, I've only got. I got about uh, ten or so. Okay, that's how many I got. Okay, bring yours too. The rake and a shovel, right? No, not the shovel. Not the rake? Yeah, let the rake's the best way. That's what I got. Okay. We'll stop about halfway down here and do another rake. How's that? Like good idea, Charlie. Ah, the old footprints on the crater rim. That's about uh, halfway, uh, maybe. <laughs> Experiments, flight. Okay, let me just okay. stop this down here. We've done everything here that's... Uh, well, I think we can get it probably shattered out of that big side. rock. Look at that fillet on this side, yeah, Charlie. Okay, well, we need to yeah, shovel for that. Yeah, with well, this here. Okay, okay yeah, we, we can reach in there. Let's see what you mean. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wow, I'm taking that down, son. I have the chart in there. Uh, 
uh, I, my guess is that most of these rocks around here are extremely shocked. Mike, tell me. Go ahead. Yeah, it looks like the battery is still the... Uh, the All these in this area look uh, the same. Okay, and that's a 735. Yeah, right. in the sunlight, right just in this white rock has sort of a greenish hue to it. This white rock, uh, red comment. to it. Which is what all this is we're walking on right now, is this white rock uh, rescue that Charlie chipped out of. Uh, Charlie chipped out of. Uh, I'd just use a little more water, right? And I guess uh, this is the, probably the second layer up. I would reckon that this, if, if we could see to the bottom, we could say for sure if this big black rock is right out of the bottom. But uh, my guess from the old photographs is probably is. Okay, that sounds like a good guess. Look, see this rock right here, Charlie? Look at the size of that rock. We can see. The closer I get to it, the bigger it is. Yeah, but look at the permanent shadow part, Charlie. On this side over here? Yeah. No, yeah. right here on this one. See that shadow? That must be permanent. No, I bet you it's not. The sun's going down over there, John. Yeah, you're right. Okay. You come back here in two weeks and it'd be dark. <laughs> well, maybe a week and you'd have sun over there. Okay, Tony, this is a very blocky area here. And look at those. Look at the shape of that rack. Yeah. We don't see any glass, though, particularly. No, I guess I'd have to call this uh, a black matrix. Uh, it's like the matrix has reversed itself now. It's all black matrix. Well, Tony, that's your house rock right there. Very good. Don't get too near the edge of that thing. It falls off. Look, look, over, on, look over at your right. It falls off pretty good. Yeah, I know. I'm going to just take a little stereo here. Okay, now we had to come down a pretty good slope to get to this rock, so we may have to leave early to get back. Yeah, yeah I agree. We've got about uh, 17 minutes before you'll have to drive off, so we'll have to hustle with it. John, here's a, uh, look at here, can we whack with a, see that's, look at that, see it's glass coated, and this is just fractured off, we can pull that off, big chunks of that will come right off, and it looks, it's got a bluish tint to it, doesn't it, uh, it doesn't look like the real of the, the Look at that shatter cone right there, Charlie. I'll be darned. It is. Yeah. Sure. Right there. Yeah. Put your tongs up there. I get a. Can I take a good a picture of that one from Mulberger? Well, that settles that, huh? Hey, move it down a little bit. That settles that, doesn't it, Houston? 